Lawrence drove his car in Nantucket. But that's another story. Hey, this is Matt Asen from Fort Myers, Florida. This is my home. Come on down and join me for spring training at the Timbers Restaurant in the Sanibel Grill. Fresh fish, shrimp, stone crab. Only one thing can make this thing better. What is that? Here you go, Matty. My buddy Bill and a Bud Light. Cheers, Matt. Great to have you. Hope to see you down here. Going worldwide, dirty water. And I love that dirty water TV. Love that dirty water TV. that dirty water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Get ready to take another dirty water TV road trip. We've traveled to some of the best summer hotspots on our annual summer tour. We've hit the slopes in our winter tour and we've even taken you to Sin City to roll the dice on the dazzling Las Vegas nightlife. Now, Dirty Water TV is partying it up spring training style in sunny Florida. As New Englanders head south to escape the cold and meet up with the boys of summer, Dirty Water TV is excited to introduce you to a hidden jewel on Florida's west coast. Sanibel Island features the surf, the sunshine, the seashells, and one amazing character with a zest for life and a personality that you do not want to miss. Dirty Water TV, live from Sanibel Island, Florida. Come experience sunny Sanibel Island with our featured guest, Matt Azen, and his incredible venues with Dirty Water TV. Good luck to kiss some fish. Look, it got me to kiss far. Hey guys, welcome to Dirty Water TV. We are here this week in beautiful Sanibel Island. We're very lucky, escaping the Boston winter. And I'm so happy to be here with Matt Azen. He is pretty famous in the area, as I can tell by all the amazing pictures, which you're gonna tell him about, from Timber's Restaurant. So, great to be here with you. And it's great to have you here in this lovely weather we have, and the Red Sox are here for spring training. Yeah, it's definitely a busy time of year. And um, is there any Red Sox player you have not met? Because I was just taking a look in at the wall. I got Yaz and Carlton Fisk and Papelbon. Yeah, and I saw the Papelbon one. It, yeah, that was a cool one. And, and uh, we, we have a lot of players, Roger Clemens, and Danny Darwin had my Cadillac for three days. Oh, really? My cow car. I let Danny Darwin, of course, the cow car. In. I heard about this. Tell, tell our viewers about this. Well, the original cow car was a 75 Eldorado convertible. It's white with black spots. And it's the, got the big, original one. The original nice. one. Nice. All right. What do we have these days? We have a, a 76 that's red with white spots. And they have big horns. And they go, moo. And, of course, Danny Darwin, being a Texan, saw the car. And he wanted to borrow it. And I said, sure, it's yours. He said, you kidding me? Such a friendly me? guy. That's why you have so many friends on these walls. Yeah. And, and him and Roger drove around, and his wife had it, and we had a, a good time. That was many years ago when Danny Darwin and Roger were still playing for the Red Sox. Well, now we got the new days with the JetBlue, JetBlue Stadium. Have you been there yet? I have seen it. I have not been there in person, and I can't wait to go. I've been in Fenway for many games, and you can't get in there. So this is like, for Floridians, it's the little Fenway down here. And I have, you know, friends with good tickets, which is always a good thing to have. I know you have a bunch of restaurants. Tell us a little bit about Timbers and some of the amazing things on the menu here. Well, we, I came down from, from Marblehead, Marblehead, in 1978. My partners, who are not my partners, were, had restaurants in Salem, Massachusetts. Okay. We came in 78, and we opened up a, a steakhouse, and I made it a seafood place. And it evolved, and we did well, and uh, energy, and you, and... you did okay. I, I think you did well. Yeah. yeah it's been 33 <laughs> years, yeah. and, and I have a great chef who's he's Chinese from Malaysia, and with his cooking knowledge and my seafood knowledge, we've really uh, turned the corner. We've, uh, turned the corner. We've been busy for 33 years. That's one dish. 
This is Chef Tay's signature dish here, and the secret, aside from having spectacularly fresh seafood, is the fish stock. You saw how we make that with the fresh fish and the blend of saffron and spices that only Chef Tay knows, you won't even tell me. So the, the, the broth that goes with this is just spectacular. Hey, Gene, he's the marshal of the kitchen. He's been working how long, Big Gene? 22 years. 22 years. He makes all the soups, all the prep, all the, all the house dishes, and the reason we're so consistent, we got Big Gene. To get all these shrimp peeled to cook for the restaurant, we got Evie. How many years have you been working here, Evie? 19 years. 19 years. He started when he was just a kid. It's hard work. Look how old he looks now. He started when he was 20. No. <laughs> Even here, like Big Gene, a long time. You can't smell anything? That's because fresh fish doesn't smell. I keep saying I'm going to retire, but it's too much fun, and it's, it's, it's busy. We have great fish. We're in Florida. Yeah. The fish are right out there. Yeah, you can't complain. It looks like you have a lot of fun here. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great, awesome scene. And so I know it's all glamorous, and you're a big, popular guy here. But t I know you also, you're really hands-on here, you know, getting down and dirty. So tell them, you know, some stuff from behind the scenes they might not see on a regular day. Well, we still buy fish down at the docks. We buy whole grouper and whole snapper. And I started 30 years ago with my old Toyota and a trash can. And now I've graduated to a pickup truck and, and big boxes. And I live in Fort Myers now, so I go down there because I'm close to the docks and I deal with a guy for 30 years, Nick, and the fishmonger restaurant, and in, in, uh, he has a wholesale place. And we get the fish off the boats, and we bring it here, and we cut it ourselves, and you just can't, it, it's made the difference over 30 years. We have stone crabbers that bring us there to catch, and this is stone crab season, it all comes at once. We have, the, we have March Madness, we have spring training, we have Easter, President's Week, and like it's all crazy for these two months and I love it when all the people come here and I sort of like it when they're all gone too because man, yeah. you know, I'm getting tall for this. Yeah, you need some time to go to the beach also. We have a summer place in Maine and we vacation there and we go to Fenway yeah. and we go to the, the garden and and uh, of course the greatest bars are are bar away from, from Florida. All the good spots. All the good spots. It's like my, again, I, I'm a home here and I'm a home there so it's, it's yeah. I love Boston and we love Sanibel. Well, since it's spring training time and we're on the Red Sox theme. Tell me a little bit about that sign up there. They had a yard sale for some of the stuff at the old City of like Palms Park. Like legit had a, a yard sale. A yard sale and they had this old metal World Series 1918 championships and I bought the sign and we got it up on the wall here. Well we know that we love it here and we had a great dinner but you have some tried and true longtime loyal customers. Well tonight we talked to some of the customers to hear a little bit about their thoughts on Timbers and Sanibel Grill. The reason I like coming here it reminds me of Cheers. It's very laid back, it's local, it's comfortable. You can't beat the prices. I love Timbers because uh, the food, the atmosphere, all the people that are in here. This is the only like good like bar on this island. Like the atmosphere of it, you know, like they make good drinks. I don't know, we just come here all the time. You came all the way from Germany to come yeah, to Timbers. 10 hours flight to Miami and another two hours drive by car. Just to be here on this spot, that's true. And was the cr crunchy grouper worth it? It was yeah. worth it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the best thing on this, in this place is the Budweiser on tap. Very cold, nice, great. This is the most famous local hangout with the best food. Period. You know, it's the owner, it's Matt Aston. You know, who is one of the classic guys of all time, and he's got one of the best restaurants here on Santa Bell. And uh, it's just a show every time you come here. The food is delicious, and the servers are magnificent. My cheers away from home. That's We've safe. been around a long time, and we love it. Johnny Mo said, "Have the check stole the ball." I say, "Have the check stole the fish," and he's got it right there in his hand. Fish happen. It doesn't get any better than this. And we'll have more Dirty Water TV right after this. It's a Shaq O'Neal, aka the Big Shamrock. And I love that dirty water view. Chris Berman and then Governor of Indiana Evan Bayh and a young me 
This is, and here it is 18 years later, Evan By, Chris Berman, myself up at the Super Bowl. Welcome back, I'm Lacey Wilson for Dirty Water TV. I'm so excited to be down here for a couple weeks for spring training, one of my favorite times of the year. I'm here with Matt from Timbers, had an amazing dinner here tonight. But Matt, I know closer towards Fort Myers, you also have some other great restaurants. Well, we have on Santa Bell, we have Matt's Luna, the Italian restaurant. Uh, the name, not meaning Matt's a lunatic, me, although people think that. Uh, we've been there 14 years. And in Fort Myers, where we have most of the Red Sox eat on a regular basis because it's closer yeah. to where they're staying and the ballpark, uh, we have the Prom Brook, which has been there for 31 years, and the University Grill, which has been there 15 years and is run by our manager, Ed Vazella, who's a Boston native. Okay. And he's old friends with Luis Tiant, so we have a lot of the Red Sox coming there on a regular basis because it's close to where they're staying. So seafood, steaks, Italian, we got the, everything covered. Well, Matt, one of my favorite things about coming here is that even if there's a little bit of a wait because it's always so crowded, there's so much so much excitement and entertainment with all the awesome pictures on the wall. I know you're Red Sox fans. There's a lot of Red Sox pictures, but there's a lot of other amazing pictures, too. Yeah, the Prime Minister of, the, the, of, of West Germany, Helmut Schmidt, came at my restaurant 30 years ago, and I got a photo with him, and I said... Was that the first we, photo? That was the first photo. You know, it's great to have a photo with somebody, because you can buy a picture of Frank Sinatra and sign it and put it on your wall, but yeah. if I'm in the photo, they'll know they're at my restaurant. And I would put the, the few pictures on the wall, and people would stare at them and ask me questions about them and I said, wow, what a great thing. It's so fun. Well, when I came in here, everyone was looking at the walls. It's almost like a little tour. It's like a little museum. There's over 300 photos of, we have governors, presidents, Celtics, Red Sox, movie stars, most of whom have been in the restaurant, some of whom I've met at other events. And there are, there are two that I haven't been with in reality that were actually photoshopped. The one is Babe Ruth, of course, who died before I was born. And the other is Fidel Castro, who, while I, I played baseball in Cuba with Bill Lee, he, uh, we took some photos in Cuba, but Fidel didn't want to come to the game. Well, all these great stories, I want to go see all these pictures. Let's go take a look at all of them. Oh, here, this is a recent one here. The Yankee Stadium, there's Paul McCartney. He was sitting in front of me. I had a blank sign and a marker and we made an improvisational sign and said, Eleanor Rigby loves New York, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he waved and we passed the sign down to him and he autographed it for me and got a picture with him. I see Bob Feller in Fort Myers playing in a Legends game. I was invited to play in the game as a celebrity and I show him this photo taken with Joe DiMaggio. He says, Yankee Stadium, 1936. I said, wow, that's great. Will you sign it for me? He says, yeah. I said, can I get a photo with you? So here I am trying to pose like Joe and he took the picture with me in 1999, my singing days with The Temptations and the Four Tops in uh, 1992. I was on stage as a guest appearance and sang My Girl, singing and dancing. Probably one of the highlights of my life. You can't make this fish up. As Joe Walsh, he was playing in the celebrity baseball game with me, and I said, Joe, you hit it right on the head. Life's been good to me so far. They call me the Minister of Scientology, as long as the the flamingo man, because I always carry a pink flamingo. There's Vince Carter and the flamingo, and uh, that started in 1986. I had all these cards, I gave it to the fellow to put on the bar, and I, he came back with the bar done, I said, you move the cards. He says, what are you talking about? I said, they're not where I put them. He says, how do you know? I said, look. I said, you don't know baseball, do you? It's Tinkers to Evers to Chance. And he put Chance in front of Evers. Anybody who sees that, when they say that, they get a free drink. That was so amazing. I could look at these all day, but I do want to ask you, I know just besides your pictures, you're famous for something else. Something with some wacky signs? The Reggie's rookie season, I came to a game with my pink flamingo. Mel Simon said, who's that wacky guy with the flamingo? Get him back, he's good luck. Since the late 80s. That's a three-point shot. He's come armed with something else. That's the Chinese translation. The eye chart. And the favorite one of everybody's. Often dubbed the Pacer guy. One shot. Well, yeah, as a kid, I used to watch the Mets games, and the guy had the signs he'd hold up, and I thought, wow, this guy is clever. When I grow up, I want to be like him, sort of. And in 1969 at the Mets World Series, I had a bed sheet and it said, Cortland State loves Nancy Seaver and Slider, referring to Tom Seaver's wife and dog. So even as a 16-year-old freshman in college, I knew there was a hook to get the attention. That got in the New York Times and Newsweek and it was in the movie Frequency for three seconds. 
So it lives forever in, in DVD, and that started me off. Well, on a little bit of a serious note, the great thing about your science also is many continue to live on and to be relevant even in today's society. Um, recently, with you know the sad, very sad passing of Whitney Houston, um, tell us a little bit about a sign involving her. Well, at the time, I didn't realize it. It was 1991 during the Iraq War, and the Super Bowl was in Tampa. And I brought all my signs up, and they wouldn't allow me to bring the signs in because of security, which is the first time that started. And I snuck one sign in under the fence from the side, and it said, Go USA. And Whitney sang the Star Spangled, Star -Spangled Banner, and the jets flew over, and I held the sign up. And when they show the videotape over and over again of her singing that spectacular rendition, they show the jets, and they show me holding up Go USA. and. There it was 20 something years ago and it's it'll probably live on forever. We'll have more Dirty Water TV right after this. This is Brian Boyle of the New York Rangers and I love that Dirty Water TV. another 15 Massachusetts oysters. That's how many there are from Massachusetts. And they keep getting new ones, like wine. They keep naming new new oysters. And back in the day, there was Wellfleet's, and there was Cape Cod Bay, you know, there was Cuddy Hunk. And they grow other ones. Island Creek is a big Massachusetts oyster company. And you can see the different sizes and shapes of them. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Lacey Wilson, and I'm here in the beautiful Sanibel area. So lucky to be here right now. We have spring training, we have restaurants, we have resorts. So much to do. I'm really lucky to be here with Daniel Smock. He's the head of marketing for an amazing resort in the area. So Daniel, tell us a little bit about your resort. South Seas Island Resort is a 330-acre wildlife sanctuary out on the tip of Captiva. We're a family-friendly resort. We're immersed in nature all around us, uh, manatees, dolphins. It's one of the most unique properties in Southwest Florida. Oh, it's so amazing. There's so many beautiful things here. So for some of our Boston viewers who are probably a little cold right now and dying to come down here, tell us about, tell us about some of the other highlights in the area that you would recommend. Yeah, um, we're great for water sports. We're right on the Gulf of Mexico, two and a half miles of beach. Um, we have seaplane rides. You can take tours of the uh, local islands. We have a nine-hole executive course. We have tennis courts. Four of them are lit. So there's something for everyone, all ages there really here, huh? Is. There really is. Really happy to be out at South Seas Island Resort. It's a great, unique property. I can't stress that enough. How I've, I've heard it's one of those beautiful places to stay in the area, exactly. for sure. Exactly. You come out, you relax. We've got something for you to do as much as you want to do or do as little as you want to do. If you just want to sit out on the beach and look out at the tranquil water, uh, you can do that. That's if you want my to... kind of thing. I think it that's is. what I'll be going for yeah, when I come here. Yeah, I think here. so, especially coming down from Boston, you know, yeah. you want to After get away from After the cold winter, things. just want to relax. Exactly. And Put see your the toes nice in view. the sand, blue water. Well, we all know down here in Florida there's gorgeous beaches, but I know the resort has amazing pools, too. We have about 18 pools on property. 18? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All of the uh, different areas of the property have their own local pools, and then we have our main pool complex up on the north end. Oh, my gosh. They weren't kidding when they said the pools were amazing. Yeah, we have three pools there and then a restaurant, but one of the pools is called H2O, uh, where we have two water slides there. There. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, the kids love it. Adults, Can adults love it. go on it? Is there a height yeah. limit? <laughs> Absolutely. They can't keep me off of it. Well, I also heard there's some like candy store pizza parlor because, you know, after a day of fun at the beaches and the pools, you got to feed yourself. Yeah, right outside of the main pool complex, uh, we have scoops and slices and they have pizza. That ice sounds cream. like my kind of place. <laughs> yeah, you walk in and right all around the uh, right side of it is a total wall of candy jelly beans, gummy worms. All sorts of good stuff. All the family favorites, you know, everything that you grew up liking is right there. It sounds like the happiest place on earth, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's everything you need in one shot. Oh, it sounds so awesome. I can't wait to visit. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Take a look at this vehicle. That's very nice. Where are you from? Very nice. Like your companions there, too.
Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Lacey Wilson. I'm here with someone pretty famous in the Sanibel area, but also famous all over the country. Matt, I heard you were on the Today Show recently for your cow car. Right, this is my uh, Boston, Maine, New York cow car. It's a 73 Eldorado convertible with white spots and horns. And it goes moo, and Al Roker, I interrupted him doing the weather report. Take a look at this vehicle, that's very nice. Where are you from? Sanibel Island, Florida. Very nice, like your companions there too. Oh, that's a nice horn. That's a good horn. All right. Hey, don't forget, you can check, check your weather anytime. And they got me on the Today Show for about 15 seconds of fame. That's awesome. I love it. And you said it's here tonight, right? Well, this is the Florida cow car. We have, I have three of them. I know one is not enough, two is not enough. So we have three cow cars. And Everyone's got to have three cow cars. And they don't move and they just make smiles on faces. Speaking of smiles on faces and being the good guy that you are, I know you're involved with a lot of philanthropic work in the area too. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, last year they had a Dancing with the Stars on Sanibel Island and they asked me to participate. And it was more about raising money, and I had a lot of generous friends who helped me raise a lot of money. And I was able to put some steps together, and I got tens from the judges. And we had a lot of fun, and I will never do it again because it was a lot, a lot of work. All right, so I want you to introduce our little friend, Chowder. Chowder was on the Today Show with me in the cow car. Another little celebrity. A little Not celebrity. little. She was in the Today Show and sat like a queen. Such a good little girl. And here's the one, the woman behind it all who puts up with all the signs and the <laughs> nonsense the craziness. and the craziness. <laughs> and behind every good man is a strong woman, and there's no, nothing truer than that. I love it. You're a beautiful little family. Thanks a lot, Matt, for an amazing dinner. We had so much fun here at Santa Bell, and the weekend may be over. But the party never ends on Dirty Water TV. <laughs>